I'm going to quote you here if I can, because mm. let's talk about a passionate area of yours, which mm -hmm. has been for a long time, boys and men's mental health. Yep. Mm. And then you go on to say, I've written, spoken about this in the past, but in hindsight, what I wrote was lacking the urgency that this topic demands. Mm. But there's a conversation lacking that you're bringing attention to around men's mental health. Yeah, for sure. And um, yeah, I'm going to get Teary. emotional about this one. Um because it's because it's because the impact is real, yeah. Right, the impact is real. I wrote that article um, just a couple of months. I'm sorry. No, it's totally fine. This is what we're here to do, right? Yeah. This is what we're here to do. I wrote that article a couple of months before my nephew took his own life, and and I and, and this at the time I was writing about how urgent this is, mm. because because pe men are suffering. Everybody is suffering as a result of that. Women are being killed, and 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 it's it's like it's a it's a crisis. So we have to address the impact. Have to acknowledge the impact of, of of this on others and and society, but we have to do it in a way that doesn't shame men, because it doesn't that that's that's part of the problem, and so. We have to draw account. We have to draw uh, attention, and there has to be accountability. Mm -hmm. But the way in which we do that is through supporting understanding and mm -hmm. supporting further awareness, and supporting providing a safe place to go for for anybody. In in this case, men, which is what I was writing about, because you know statistics are, are, um, are uh, frightening. Uh, yeah, frightening to say the least. Um, but we don't know how to do it. Mm. 